Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth Hall, your smart social media manager. And today I wanted to show you how to make an infographic or just to make a graphic using Canva, which is one of my favorite tools these days. And so um, the only thing that you need to have to use Canva is maybe your own images. And then also you just need to bring your creativity to the table and you can make fantastic images using Canva, which is a free service. So let's go ahead and go over to Canva. And when you go there, your screen will look something like like this. If you've made any images, they'll show at the bottom. And sometimes they will um, they will not render the image, but there's actually an image behind there. Sometimes they will. Let's just refresh this page and see if those images show up that they are. Okay, so those are just some of the images that I've built here in Canva. So it'll actually store your images, but you'll be able to download the images as well. So what I wanted to show you first was in Canva, um, it actually has some templates that you can use in here. Um, you'll see Pinterest and it'll show you the size down at the bottom and you can look through them yourself. I don't want to take too long, but it has a number of templates that you can use to build your images. I'm going to use the custom di the custom dimensions here and we'll just click there and I'm going to put in 735 which is the maximum uh, width which is good for Pinterest and then the height I'm just going to pick 1500 because I want this to be a pretty big image so it will render nicely in Pinterest and this actually is going to go on a blog post but I still wanted to go ahead and use that so the first thing I'm going to do is add some text. So over here, I um, mean, you can play around with it. I'm just going to go to text and let's pick our title. Social. All right, we'll move the text around and Yes, I'm going a little bit fast, but I'm doing that on purpose because, you know, nobody wants to watch a super long video. Now I want to find some shapes, so I'm just going to search shapes in the search here and see what kind of shapes come up. As you can see, you have free shapes up here at the top, and then as you go down, you'll get um, other images which you can pay for. And you can actually build your image first, and then once you get ready to download it, that's when you'll be um, requested uh, payment for any images that cost a fee. But if you use the images up here at the top, these are free. And they also have layouts as well. can see I'm adding some text over the, these um, shapes that I have here. You can change the sizes of the text if you like. Just have to be careful and make sure everything fits. drop down box here and you can center this so as you can see you have some flexibility when it comes to putting text on your image and I also try to make all of my text the same size so it'll be visually pleasing but if you look here, you can also change the type of text, but I'm just going to leave it the way that it is for now. Now what I'm going to do is I want to select all of these and move them at the same time because I kind of like the way that they're placed, but 
It'll be a little bit further over. Now I'm going to add a background. You can use one of the free backgrounds they have here. Then they have some that you can pay. You see it'll pop up how much it is. If you want to use one of those backgrounds. I usually just use a plain background. Most of the time a white background. But I'm going to change it up a little bit today. So as you can see, we played around with this and um, we changed the elements around and I could probably go on for days and days on exactly how to make this. But the truth is that you have to really just dig in and um, play around with the Canva to figure out all its features and what's going to work best for you. But I just wanted to give you like a quick overview to show you how easy it is to use Canva for your blog or for images on Pinterest. So with that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also make sure that you subscribe for future videos and go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and follow and also to share. I invite you to join the social media conversation. We're over on Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and also Facebook. I'm looking forward to chatting with you. Have a great day.